Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be doing an installation for the full body invisible shield on the iPad 2. Now, when I actually went to get it, I got it at a kiosk in a mall, and surprisingly, all they gave me were these two sheets. Now, this one is the back one, and this one is the front one. So, all I got were these two sheets, and I also got this bottle of spray right here, and in addition to that, I got this squeegee and also this little baggie that uh, they recommend using to clean the screen of your devices with before actually installing it. So the same is true when you do any single installation with the Invisible Shield products. What you want to do is, first of all, make sure that your device is completely clean and your hands are also clean as well. Now what you can do is you can pick up some canned air, I have one right here, and make sure that you get all of the debris off your iPad. And then, in addition to that, make sure that you wipe it down with the microfiber uh, cloth slash bag that they provided you with. And make sure that both the front and the back are completely wiped down, and I have already done that. Also, uh, the guy told me to make sure to add a couple drops of soap to this. Basically, this is only water with a little bit of their soap in it already. However, he suggested that I put about two to three extra drops of soap in this so that it allows to slide around on it. So, I'm going to start with the front part first. What you're going to do is take the spray and just spray your hands a couple of times. And they recommend this when you do any installation uh, so that it does not stick to your hands. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can start by peeling the actual invisible shield off of the paper itself. And what ends up happening is this outer edge comes off of it, and I do not think that is supposed to be happening, so I don't exactly know. I tried to look online at their website, but they did not have any uh, type of information or videos or anything at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this outer part off first. I did end up getting it. I got a corner of it off. However, now my hands are completely dry again. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray them really quick. And when I've seen installations of this before and when I've actually installed it before, they make sure that their hands are completely soaked with this solution so that it does not stick at all. And they also said to make sure that every single one of the little pieces are taken out. Like for instance, this is not supposed to be on there, the home button, because it did have complications with other devices, so they ended up taking it out. And they also said to make sure that this camera hole is out of it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this part out. And uh, just to let you know ahead of time, this is a pretty wet process, this entire thing, because after you do that and after you get it off and do that entire thing with your hands, you're going to completely soak this part of it, so the backing of it that you're going to use to then place it on your device. Now, once you have it on your device, you can actually move it around. So I'm going to place it down and now, you can go ahead and just wiggle the entire thing around until you get it to the exact position. All right, so I have it perfectly lined up right now, and as you can tell, it looks like a total mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the squeegee that they provided you with and make sure you just work out every single one of the bubbles. Now, this is not hard to do at all because it is wet, and the reason why I do have this microfiber cloth underneath my iPad is so I can put it up around the edges so that when I push the water out, the microfiber absorbs the water and it doesn't get around the back of it and it doesn't get inside of any ports. You want to make sure that you take it and you push it to a side that you know does not have anything on it. And again, if you have something to wipe up the water with, that is excellent. Just make sure that you get all of the bubbles out All right, and when it starts to actually stick down and you can feel it sticking and it doesn't really slide around anymore and you have all of the water out, you are pretty much good to go. You can go ahead and take something to dry it off with. And I'm actually just going to use this microfiber cloth again that they provided me with. 
and just make sure you gently rub around and try and be careful not to spill over any excess liquid that remains on the top of it. And also too, I'm going to go ahead and take this and get a close up of it. As you can see, there are bubbles right there. Now these bubbles will go away within 24 hours and sometimes it could take up to 48 hours for them to go completely away, but those bubbles will go away. Uh, they guarantee that and if you don't get them to go away or they don't automatically go away within 24 or 48 hours, then I'm sure if you take it back they will replace it because it does have a lifetime guarantee on it. Now the part that's a little bit harder is the backing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to the back now and I'm actually going to go ahead and get a different uh, microfiber cloth really quick so I'll be right back because this one's pretty wet. Alright so I am back with a clean microfiber cloth and now uh, basically the same exact thing applies for this one as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually try and get it off first because it was a little hard when I actually uh, used that liquid to wet down my hands before beginning. Alright, so I have this part off now and I'm going to wet down my hands again. And don't be afraid to use a lot of this. If you run out, you can always just go to the sink fill it up and put a couple drops of soap in it and you will be good as new and you can continue to install your invisible shield. Now I kind of got the process down, I lifted it up and as you can see the little port for the camera right here, or the little covering that was there, it did not come off with the shield so that is good. You want to make sure that that does not come off and that it either stays on or you take it out of it altogether. And now the same thing goes for this one as well. You just want to make sure that you wet it down and that it is good to put on. Now these are pretty easy to align. Uh, the front was actually extremely easy. Obviously you want to be careful of the speaker holes right there and also the dock port right there. Just kind of work around that. Alright, so there we go. It is on the iPad now. I also just wanted to say that uh, I turned my iPad off before installing the Invisible Shield and they recommend doing that as well and they also tell you to keep it turned off for 24 hours. However, I never follow that rule. I usually turn it on within an hour, 30 minutes or something like that. So uh, just be sure to use it really carefully and do not hit the edges against anything or get it caught. I'm just going to go ahead and go over the edges and how the install went really quick. So it went pretty much perfect for the speakers as well as the charging port. Now I did get a hair under there again so I just took that out and put it back on and uh, going over the edges again so there we go. And this is the first time I've actually seen this but this invisible shield does say zag on it so I've never seen that on an invisible shield before. I don't particularly like it. Uh, I mean it's not something that you'll see but again I do not like having any type of watermark or anything on my device. But uh, yeah the install actually went really good. Uh, surprisingly easy. Uh, it's basically foolproof because again you can lift it up multiple times and set it back down and uh, you will pretty much be good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up here and I'll come back sometime around tomorrow or the next day and I will do like a 24 hour after thing just uh, showing you guys how well it ended up turning out once all these bubbles and stuff ended up going away. So I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.